All right, guys, here we are with our 1985 Chevy Caprice Classic station wagon that is up for sale right now. I'm gonna show you around and we're gonna take her for a small little test drive through this wonderful mountainous area here. So you get a nice impression about what we are talking. And we are talking about a wonderful car, in great condition, not like new, because then of course you would be afraid to take an overlanding, but as you can see, chrome is nice and shiny and I haven't even cleaned her or detailed her, as you say in English. I'm gonna show you a little bit inside. Beautiful condition. Everything works. A nice bench seat. You can take three persons with you. In the back. Huge amounts of space. No rips and tears. We always have this uh, covered by a tarp, of course, so it doesn't get all stained. And dirty. Let me show you from the other side how it looks with the seat up. Uh, this one, double action tailgate. Now that the window is down, I can show you the full extent of the space. It's amazing. And then, oh yeah, by the way, third row seat, plenty of storage here. I'll show you now. You can open it as a barn door also. No rust. No rust where they normally do there. There in the corner. I've oil sprayed it, that's why it's a little dirty. Oh yeah. Third bench seat. There you go. For your friends. Adults fit in there perfectly. Lockable storage space. More storage space here. More storage space here and behind that cover is the full-size pair wheel and uh, all kind of tools and we're carrying with us. That I'm not gonna show you now, but trust me, there's a lot of space behind this too. Closes like a champ. Nice and big Yakima Space Cadet. Original hubcaps. So, totally even, totally completely even here, no step. I'm gonna show you, bench seat up, bam, goes up like this, perfect condition, no tears, no stains, no rips, nice velour, blue velour from the factory. Everything works, all the locks work. Manual locks, of course, which is great for camping. Manual windows, all work. All the locks from the outside work. Beautiful car. No cracks in the dash. All the instruments work, rear defogger works. The only thing that is disconnected right now is the AC, but all the hardware is there. Um, even the radio works, I will show you when we switch it on. No rust, the door panels are wonderful. No rips or tears. Let's show you underneath. You get an impression that she's not oily, not losing any fluids. Uh, there we go. That's the oil pan. Just dry. That's the transmission. Dry. The differential. Dry again. The whole exhaust has been replaced. Even the catalytic converter is still in there. J 
just did an oil change not even 100 miles ago tires are in great condition we just bought those 500 kilometers or so ago so about 200 300 miles those are good tires too pirelli scorpion atrs Yeah. I'll show you from the back. That's the fuel tank. This is no just the uh, surface rust from the rain and everything. New shock absorbers you can see there. Differential is not leaking. The red thing there is our airlift system for leveling out the car. All the car has been undercoated, not even rusty here. Where they normally rust out. So there we are. Let's take it for a ride. Starts right up, of course. you listen to it 288 161 original kilometers not miles that's about 180,000 miles um, here is the switch for the electric rear window which I'm gonna demonstrate to you that it works perfectly oh yeah as I said rear defogger works all the fan The controls here work. Vacuum activated. We're gonna leave it on cold. It's a nice warm day today. Even the original 80 stereo works. Let me show you. Well, even the auto seek function works. Has also a scan function, bass, treble. You can switch from AM to FM, everything works. And we have the FM transmitter so you can connect up your iPad or something to it. Even the clock works, we put in a leveling device so you see right now we're sitting nice and level. Uh, nice glove, big glove box, right now a little full, even the light works inside. What else? The lights work of course, there you go. Emergency brake works. By the way, no warning lights on. This is the brake. There you go. Even the indicator here for the transmission works. All right. And what else? Let's switch the radio off. Put the seat belt on. We have both sets of keys, of course, for the car. All original, unmolested, as I said. It's not uh, me just saying that. That's a fact. No rips or tears in the dash. That's a GPS uh, holder. You're gonna get the GPS with it, of course. That's uh, our 300 watt inverter. This is also gonna be yours when you buy the car. Beautiful condition. Just look at it. Nice as it gets. Not like new, but in just very nicely maintained condition. Oh yeah, by the way, reading map, map lights, whatever you want to call them, they work. This light works, I'm gonna show you. And can be switched on and off from this switch independently of the doors uh, adjustable interval speed for for the windshield uh, wipers they all work they have an automatic uh, wish wash function where you can just uh, you just push it once and then it has a sequence that it goes through everything works uh, cruise control works uh, has a slight uh, you need to be precise with the button here because it's a little American. 
<laughs> so to speak. But it worked. Uh, all the indicators work. All right, enough talk. Let's take a full ride. Of this area here and just like that we're up to uh, 40 miles an hour this is a very curvy street so I'm gonna be careful she handles so nicely no noises from the suspension, doesn't squeak, doesn't clunk, doesn't bong around or whatever you want to call it, no noises whatsoever. I'm gonna close the window, otherwise we're getting distracted by outside noises so you can hear for yourself. There you go, how nice and quiet she is. I mean this road is not in perfect condition as you can see. barely hear the engine here when all the windows and everything are closed no tuning exhaust glass packs or whatever on it all original brakes have just been replaced front and back they work beautifully just as they should which is important with a heavy car like this especially when she's fully loaded You see, I'm rolling around, I'm not even pushing the gas pedal and I'm rolling down the hill here at 40 miles an hour. Wheel bearings make no noises, gearbox shifts nice and smooth, you barely can feel it, you hear it more than you feel it in the RPM change. Nice day also. Just perfect for a nice little test drive. As you can hear, all the bumps don't unsettle the car. It was nice and smooth. As it should. Doesn't burn any oil, doesn't leak any other fluids. You don't have to refill between the oil changing intervals. The gearbox doesn't burn anything or leak anything all over the place. The axle seals are new, so you don't lose any oil there either. It's just a nice working order as it should be because the previous owner and us, we all took care of it. There you go. Um, steering is nice and crisp. So I'm not even half on the throttle here, she just takes off. Kick down. Just for you. <laughs> you heard maybe even the secondary is open because it has a Rochester Quadrajet, no electronics on this car, which makes it very very reliable and easy to repair. Let's take this bump. Um, nothing. <laughs> you take some, I, I've driven the same roads in other people's cars here on this trip and it's amazing in a pickup like this for example what comes up in the other direction or Forerunner or a Nissan Pathfinder. I've been driving a new one, 2005, not new but much younger than our car and the road felt so choppy and I knew the, the road from our car and uh, what a difference cannot even explain it you have to experience it for yourself it's like a Cadillac and with the airlift in it 
the good thing is it doesn't suck in the back you can load it up with as much weight as you want it doesn't sag everything works and she handles just nicely bumpy road here. I just wanted to show you how nicely she goes over all those bumps. Great ground clearance also, like a modern SUV. We've measured it, so we know that it doesn't just seem like that. It is like a, just as high off the ground as a modern SUV. So, here you go, before the, it gets boring, I'm gonna finish it off here, give me a call, write me a message, go on an adventure of your life man and do it in style, don't be boring, trust me you're gonna make more friends with this car than with any other one and you're gonna get more compliments for the car than for yourself or your girlfriend, so there we go. Give me a call, my name is Alex.